compliance to me means abiding by the rules uh, and the rules are the GLA standards and uh, also in our case the Gangmaster Licensing Act. Uh, my team will cover all the application inspections that come in uh, as well as all the compliance inspections that uh, we may be required to undertake. Uh, in addition to that uh, they will also uh, take part in any additional operational activity uh, that is required to be undertaken by the GLA. Okay, so um, what we have is uh, initially we have an application inspection. Uh, this is the first process. Obviously, when somebody applies for a license, they will submit all the details to the GLA, and once uh, payments have cleared and checks have been made, then it will be referred to my team for an inspection. Uh, an application inspection can only test certain parts of the business as at that particular point in time the business won't be trading. So we can't for instance conduct things like worker interviews uh, because of the fact that they're not actually trading in the sectors that we actually regulate. Um, not, not everybody needs to actually have an inspection. We do have the option to uh, refer it directly to licensing or for licensing to actually grant that uh, license without an inspection. But if we consider that there is insufficient information, then the case will be referred to the compliance team to undertake an application inspection. Each license is granted for a period of one year um, and what we expect throughout that period is for uh, labour providers to remain compliant uh, with the GLA standards throughout. Um, if we find that that's not the case, so if a matter is reported to us of uh, particular non-compliance, then we have the option to consider investigating the matter further. Compliance inspection is prompted by a number of things, but mainly information that is fed into the GLA, which is then considered by the intelligence section and referred for what we call the tasking process. Um, the, the information can come in by various forms, so it can be by phone, letter, uh, different labour providers, maybe basically giving information about others, workers may raise concerns. But in the event, if that information reaches um, what we consider to be a significant level, in other words, that there is um, critical issues that have been identified or alleged, then the matter is referred through to what we call the tasking process to consider allocating as a compliance inspection. GLA have received allegations from workers um, that they're being intimidated and threatened by a supervisor. This, although I'm at the labour user site, this is not an inspection of the labour user, it's an inspection of the labour provider. And as well as the allegations, we will also look into compliance into the rest of the GLA licensing standards. Basically, there, there are three main elements. Uh, initially, when the inspector receives the tasking, then they will conduct uh, research into that business uh, because the important thing is to get to know the business before they actually go out and, and start their investigation. But the main elements of the inspection are firstly to conduct worker interviews, uh, a key area in, in basically finding out whether there's any truth in those allegations. The first part of the, um, the process here at the Labour User Site will be to talk to some of the workers. Um, we'll talk to them on a one-to-one -one basis and the, work, the interviews will be completely confidential. It's important to get their trust and to get them to open up to me because they're going to be pulled out and suddenly presented to me and be asked them questions and it can quite often frighten the workers so it's important to actually get them to relax and understand that I'm there to help them, not investigating them. My name's Paul, I'm from the Gangmasters Licensing Authority. It's nothing to worry about, 
I'm here to do an inspection and, and checking on your employer, not on you. So I just wanted to have a quick chat with you to find out how you feel that you're, you're treated by your employer. Is that okay? Um, a visit to the labour user site where there's a walk round the actual site and I think you can see over my shoulder this is the type of site that uh, we would conduct compliance inspections at. Our, our main aim is obviously to ensure the safety of, of the workers. We'll be looking at the site, looking at the factory, making sure that it's a safe place for them to work. Checking things like fire escapes, making sure that they're properly signposted, that they're free, they're, they're easily accessible, um, not blocked. Checking on first aid facilities. Checking things such as um, walkways, making sure they're properly marked. We have to bear in mind that this is a factory where they will have forklifts and lorries moving around the site. So you've got to ensure that workers are safe. Other things we will check will also be checking that machinery is is safe, that it's product, that guards are in place where necessary. Um, check their welfare facilities, make sure they're suitable for the workers. But the, the next step is the actual challenge to the labour provider. So a visit will be arranged and that can either be notified or unnotified. Uh, generally, once we've got the evidence, it will be a notified inspection and we will sit down with the labour provider, put all the details to them with regard to the non-compliances against the various standards. Hey Steve, as I explained on the telephone, um, we're carrying out a compliance inspection on your business uh, and that's the reason for my visit today. Because what we want to do is to make sure that that particular labour provider has been given every opportunity to explain what we've found and to put their side of things. Uh, minor minor non-compliances, then we will take a proportionate approach. Um, we're quite happy to, to work with the labour provider to allow them to put it right. But obviously where there are critical issues, it's a little bit more difficult. Once uh, the matter has been concluded and we have uh, finished our inspection with the labour provider, and they've been left in no doubt what we've found, the matters have been discussed, etc. Then the inspector will actually start the completion of the compliance inspection report. Um, this is quite a detailed document and can run into a number of pages uh, because we have to be sure that we've fully explained what we've found relating to each one of the particular GLA standards. Once, once the report is completed, then the inspector will refer that report to myself, uh, the Head of Compliance, and also to the Deputy Head of Compliance. Uh, we focus heavily on quality and consistency, so we need to make sure that that report is uh, sufficient for the Head of Licence to make a decision. So there's a quality check made of every single report that comes into the compliance team. Uh, and if we're not satisfied that uh, certain matters haven't, haven't been dealt with correctly or there are issues that we want to raise, then the report will be referred back to the inspector to query those matters before the report is finally referred through to licensing.